Hello, my name is Keshwani. It's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. I have been solving math problems for GRE out of this book here. Practicing to take the GRE general test, 10th edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that you're going to find on exam number two. In exam number two, on page 208, number 14. Quantitative comparison question number 14. It is uh, the second to the last one, the penultimate one, number 14. Four, four fifths of the people who took the exam got it wrong. Only 19% got it right. Let's see what's so special about it. Before I, actually, before I actually do the problem that is given to us, why don't we look at something different here. Let's, let's, let's do this for fun. I'm told that x squared equals 16. And I want you to compare these two quantities, x in the column A, and in column B, a 0. What's the answer? Work on it for a second. Pause the clip if you have to. Pause it. Work on it. I'm warning you, it is it's a question that a lot of people are going to get it wrong because they do not, they are not very alert. They only, they, they think with the blinds around their eyes. You have to think in a broad-minded fashion. You have to, you have to think outside the box. You have to think creatively. I'm going to get out of the frame for about five seconds and I'm going to come back. So, what did you pick for the answer? If you're sitting there and saying that x squared equals 16, therefore x must be 4, and this is 0, therefore the answer is A. I'm sorry to have to tell you that quite unfortunately, this word that you see here is wrong. We do not know that what, if x squared equals 16, and I tell you that therefore x equals 4, that statement is, 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 is incorrect. I cannot say that therefore x must be 4. All I can say is that x could be 4 or x could also be negative 4. Because both 4 squared and negative 4 squared would equal 16. There are two possible values for x. So this is wrong. This is, when there are two values, x is either positive 4 or x is either negative 4. The way we write them is that we put them together and it's written like this. Positive 4 or a negative 4. There you go. So what I should have written here is that x is not just positive 4. It is either positive 4 or negative 4. x is either a positive 4 or negative 4. If it's positive 4, then of course the answer would have been A. If it's negative 4, the answer would be B. And since we do not know whether it's a positive 4 or negative 4, the correct answer is D. Correct answer here is D. Now let's do the problem that they give us, okay? I'm going to raise this now. Let, let you take a look at it if you need to pause it for a second. So x is either positive 4 or negative 4 if I'm told that x equals x squared equals 16. They also tell you that y cube equals 64. Is it true here also that uh, y is either positive 4 or negative 4? The answer is no. Y cannot be negative 4 because negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4 would be negative 64. Since this is positive 64, that tells me that y, y must, must be positive 4. Because positive 4 times positive 4 times positive 4 equals 64, which is same as 4 cubed. So since y cubed is 64, y is positive 4, x is either positive 4 or negative 4. We do not know whether it's positive 4 or negative 4. If x is positive 4, and y is positive 4, if that's the case, the answer would be C. If x is positive 4 and y is positive 4, the answer would be C. If, if x is negative 4, the y, y we know for a fact is positive 4, the answer would be B. Since we get a conflicting answer, the correct answer in this question is D. The correct answer is D. 
correct answer is D. Let me take a look at the clock in, this, uh, in the back for a second and then, then I'm going to do a little bit one more thing in it. Just hold on. I'm only five minutes into the clip. Let's do one more problem, a different problem. I'm going to erase all of this thing and let's do one more problem. Instead of y cube, you, you are told that x squared equals 16 and you're also told that y squared equals 16 and I want you to compare x versus y. What's the answer now? Well, if x squared equals 16 that tells me that x is either a positive 4 or a negative 4 and since y squared equals 16 that also tells me that y is either a positive 4 or a negative 4. But which one is it? We do not know. If x and y, they both have the same sign, the answer would be C. If x and y have a different sign, if x, is positive, if x is positive 4 and y is negative 4, the answer is A. If x is negative 4 and y is positive 4, the answer would be B. If they have conflicting sign, the answer is going to be either A or a B. If they have the same sign, we do not know. If they both happen, if they both happen to be positive, the answer is C. If they both happen to be negative, the answer is C. But if they are different sign, the answer would change. Yes, it's going to be either O or B. So here, the possible answers are A, B, or C. And since we do not know which one is which, the answer is D here. Same as before. Same as before. Despite the fact, despite the fact that on the surface, it looks like we are given the same information. But the answer is still D. The answer is still D. I hope you found it helpful, this, this explanation of mine. If you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring or if you wish to uh, purchase from me solution manuals to this problem in the book, uh, please go to my website. Uh, if you wish to communicate with me, go to my website at www.preppreprep.com -E and send me an email. Alright? Thanks.